They trying to find me. <laughs> Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? This is the most strength king, LaDerrick Williams, CEO and founder of the Paid in Full family. Hey, what's going on, y'all, man? You back with the Williams family hustle where we go out and get it and come back with it. Man, what's going on, y'all? So look, as you can tell from the title, y'all, now nah, this is not no clickbait. It's real. They trying to find me. What's going on, man? Let's talk about it, though, real quick, man. So, look, as you all know, uh, right now, I'm currently the 9 to 5 entrepreneur, right, man? I have a 9 to 5, uh, but I still run a business, man. And I, I still have multiple streams of income. Y'all know, we in family, man. We're a big family, man. I got seven kids, you know what I'm saying? So, right now, I, uh, I always say, unfortunately, but fortunately, you know, I had to go back into the, uh, the workspace, uh, really just to go get some investment money, man. Like, I use the money right now to invest, of course. Everything has went up. Everything's went up but the hourly wages, right? Everything's went up. And so it was imperative that I had I go back, you know, and uh, make sure that me and my family stay afloat while we were, you know, work out some cakes business-wise. You know what I'm saying? So I always told my wife she had never worked for another man other day in her life. You know what I'm saying? So she's still able to run the businesses and keep the empire rolling. But for me, you know, push comes to shove, I'll be the one to go back. You know what I'm saying? So I went back. All right, y'all, I picked a, uh, a dope job, man. It's a warehouse job, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it was needed, you know what I'm saying? I, I, low key, I like it, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if I'm, if I'm going to have to do a job, I like this simply because I'm just on the go, steady moving. But uh, recently, you know what I'm saying, I had some uh, issues, all right? And these issues are self-inflicted issues, y'all. Let's be real. Like, people be getting fired and they want to blame the boss. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I was to lose the job, it'd definitely be on me. Kind of, sort of, right? So, uh, when I was in my 90 days, y'all, I, uh, you know, I was you not know, kind of coming in a little late. Uh, I think I only called in, like, once, and that was because I, I got sick. But other than that, you know, just calling, I mean, just, you know, coming late. You know, you get, like, a three-minute grace period when I thought it was five. You know what I'm saying? So, I had one of the coworkers sitting me, like, nah, bro, you know you only get uh, three minutes. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And so, found that out. But, you get half a point every time you come in, you know, uh, later than three minutes. So I'm like, oh, man, okay, cool, okay, cool. So, long story short, uh, my manager had told me, you know, you, you, you walk in the thin line, right? During your 90 days, you only get up to five points, and then you're out of here. And so I walked straight, made my 90 days, and I said, okay, boom, I'm good. Because, you know, you got to be careful who you listen to, man. One of my coworkers told me, you know, after your 90 days, bro, your record clean. You start over. Which would make sense, right? You gotta be careful who you listen to, man. Cause like, I'm listening to somebody who would end up getting fired himself. You know what I'm saying? So that was false information, right? Because we end up getting a new manager, right? My uh, my other manager, man. Shout out to uh, Jeff, man. He he left. Um, he moved out of the state and took his family. They moved to a whole another city and state, man. Started a new life. So you know, salute to that. And that's big, right? But um, new manager. You know what I'm saying? And so. He hadn't said anything about, you know, my points or anything. Like, they just know I'm a hard worker. They love me because I go hard. You know what I'm saying? So, attendance and everything, they, they, they're not even thinking about it because they're like, hey, LaDerrick, he do this, do that, do this, do that. Like, we're not even thinking about his attendance. So, I happened to call in one day, right? And I knew I had called in a couple of times. I had been late a couple of times. So I said, hey, I'm not coming in today because, mind you, y'all, I got a, this this job. Uh, the reason why I cannot wait to find my boss again is because I have to get up super early, right? So I work the earliest shift there is, right? Well, I have to be there at, you know, 4 in the morning. So I'm getting up at 2.30, right, to leave the house at 3 to make sure I'm on time by 4. And so, yeah, a.m., right? And so um, I happened to call in one morning because, you know, I work my business, man. I, I had a lot of lunch calls going on that day. And uh, shout out to, you know, my daily choice, man. Business is booming. Right, if y'all don't know, you might want to click the link below, man. Definitely subscribe to my other channel because we, we booming. But anyway, y'all, I um uh, I said, you know what? Um I'm calling in, bro. Um just wanted to let you know, man, I'm not gonna make it today. And don't use my vacation time. Cause then when I call in, he like, you know, 
He showed so much love, he don't want me to get no points. He said, hey, I'm just using vacation time. Like, no, I'm going to use, use that for Christmas, <laughs> right? And so I said, but uh, if you could, let me know how many points I got. I feel like I've been accumulating some. You know what I'm saying? Let me know where I'm at. Man, he said, I, I'm, uh, I can't check it now, but I'll let you know later. Call me back later on. Well, text me later on and say, uh, this is going to put you at 9.5. What? 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 You know 10 is terminated, right? Like, we have a protocol that where you have to... It's, it's, it's a system. So, you know, if you receive so many points, you get a, a, a coaching call, a coaching counsel, you know, a verbal, then a written. I ain't got none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... Man, the reason why they have the things in place so people can like, okay, I'm, I need to chill. I'm, 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 I've been a little too lax and getting a little too comfortable and the points starting to add up. Man, if I don't say nothing, I'm going just get walked out the door. So I'm like, hey, man, I said, uh, we got to talk about that. He said, yeah, we'll talk about when we get in. Don't worry about it. So I get into work. And uh, he said, yeah, man. He said, uh, I'm looking at the stuff and we haven't, we haven't had a talk. And so you're right. Uh, we definitely owe you the uh, written warning first. I mean, a verbal first. Uh, then the written, and then you terminated. So he was like, uh, you know, I like you, man. You are, you one of the hardest workers up in her. I hate to see you lose your job, but if you get 10, you know, we have to terminate you. He said, well, this is what we're going to do. Um, this is basically going to be considered your verbal, right? If you come in late again, that would put you at 10, but that's going to be your written. And then uh, if you come in, if you violate again one more time, then you'll be out of here. So I'm like, man. And so, you know, to, at the end of the day, it's my fault, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, you know, like I say, the grace period, when I'm thinking I got five minutes, you only get three, right? And then just calling in, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, uh, I can't, I can't make no excuses. I, uh, just got to get my butt up, you know what I'm saying? I got to get up, and I'm working, you know, my business, like I said, some nights I'm just tired, tired. Lunch call after lunch call, you know. Uh, doing this Zoom, doing that Zoom, Facebook Lives, because um, that's my passion. That's what I do. I love, I, I, I'm training my team, you know, night in, night out. And so some days I'm just exhausted. And then I'm still having family time, right? I'm still, you know, uh, meeting my wife's needs, meeting my kids' needs. And so it just be a lot sometimes. But real talk, Apple, we need to get y'all game together because a few of these times that I've been late, the alarm didn't go off on my phone. Have anybody else comment in, comment down below? Have any of y'all had issues where if you set your alarm clock on the phone, that bad boy don't go off? I don't know if I'm just that tired, right? Or that sucker not going off. So what we got going on is I got my wife alarm going off 30 minutes before mine's due, and then mine go off. So that's like my little grace period, and then mine go off. And so we've been tracking. So I'm good, man. I'm not worried about it. Um, but at the end of the day, y'all, the goal is for you to fire your boss, not for them to fire you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I want to walk off this job with my own accord. And once I meet my goal, you know, that God put in place for me, then boom, I'll leave the job. You know what I'm saying? Like, last time I left my job prematurely, but I still was able to, to sustain, you know, for a good three years. But, you know, it was tough. And so this time I'm going to do it the right way. Uh, but definitely, you know, we're making the right strides. The investments are in, definitely in the right place. And we're definitely profitable making money. So, you know, I feel good on that end to where it was and let me go. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I still... I'm good. I ain't got to go run to another job where most would have to, they have panic. That's why you have multiple streams of income, y'all. Multiple streams came, man. I'm still at it. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, I like the job, man. It's, it's cool for what it is. And it's great investment money. I could put it into different Forex accounts, binaries accounts, and into my primary business, which is my daily choice. So I'm enjoying it. Not trying to leave no time soon. Well, I, mean, I am trying to leave soon, but I want to leave on my own accord and I have to hit my income goal first. So Man, y'all stay tuned, man. I'ma uh, I'm hold it down, y'all. I got literally, I can't be late uh, more than once, right? And I can't call in more than once while I'm out of there. You know what I'm saying? So I, uh, I'ma hold it down, right? The next video y'all see me talking about that job is me saying, hey, I fired my boss, man. It's the most restrained king, LaDere Williams. See you on Founder of the Pay for Empire. Remember, y'all, new YouTube channel below for our business inquiries, right? We definitely gonna keep the vlogging going on over here, man. Keep y'all up to date. Just lifestyle, man. Of what we got going on from a day to day, gonna be going on this channel. Writing some business tips here and there. Right, but for all your business inquiries, man, make sure y'all subscribe to the new PNF Empire YouTube channel, man. And it's up. See y'all on the next video, man. This is your 
่อ